Roast Turkey Leftovers get a makeover today on Weekend at the Cottage. We originally posted this recipe way back when Weekend at the Cottage was in its infancy, but at the time we weren't doing videos. Carol and I had a chat and she's like, Nick, I think we should maybe do a video for the turkey pot pie recipe because I bet you a lot of people will be inspired to make it. We sure hope so. This recipe is incredible. We're gonna start at stove top. I have two pots on the stove. The first has four cups of poultry stock. If you're making your own, very good. If not, just buy store-bought. Four cups, bring it to a boil, then reduce to simmer. The second pot has cut carrots and rutabaga. Rutabaga and carrots take a little bit longer to cook than the rest of the vegetables in the pie. So I'm gonna bring the pot to a boil, cook for about five minutes till they're fork tender, strain, place into a bowl of ice water. Once they're cool, strain again, and then we're gonna chop them up and set them to the side. We're still at the stove top. I have a large skillet, medium high heat. I'm adding in six rashers of bacon. They're fine sliced. We're gonna add them into the skillet and allow them to kind of melt. The fat will render, it's gonna get a little bubbly and smells great. We want the bacon to be kind of crispy. As soon as it's at that consistency, we have a bowl, paper towel lined. Take the bacon out of the skillet into the bowl, set it to the side. Skillet is still on stove top, same heat. The bacon fat is in the skillet. We're adding two cups of chopped white onion. Stir it around in the pan, it gets nice and soft and translucent. Then we're adding a half a cup of chopped celery, one cup of chopped wild mushrooms. We want the celery and mushrooms to cook down a little bit. Now, don't cover your ears. Six tablespoons of butter. One, two, three, four, five, six. Add the butter in, stir it with the vegetables till it's completely melted. Now, three quarters of a cup unbleached flour, sprinkle on top, stir the flour into the skillet. We want the flour to cook. It's gonna go really dry, don't be worried. Let the flour cook for a few moments. And now we pour that hot stock into the skillet and spooning, stirring, it becomes a gravy in no time. Now I changed the recipe a little bit. I'm adding a new ingredient, one heaping tablespoon of Dijon mustard. I think Dijon mustard is a great complement with poultry. I'm adding it in the sauce, stirring it in. Now if the gravy wasn't luxurious enough, final element, quarter cup of heavy cream. In the States you call this whipping cream, we call it 35%. Adding it in, we're stirring it, and yes, this is done. Remove the skillet from the heat. Now we're gonna assemble the pie filling. I have a medium-sized stainless bowl, six cups of leftover turkey, white and dark meat, gonna cut into bite-sized pieces. If you'd like to use chicken in this recipe, feel free to substitute, you'll have the same great taste. If you wanna cheat on this recipe, go and buy a roasted chicken, take it apart, add it in the bowl, and continue. We're gonna add in our cooked bacon, add in the cooked carrot and rutabaga. Now, two cups of peas. I have fresh peas. You can use frozen peas, don't use canned peas, but if you don't like peas, add in your favorite vegetables. Whether it's asparagus, or parsnip, or cauliflower, or beans, whatever your favorite vegetable will work in this recipe perfectly. A Little bit of color and texture and flavor. Half a cup, flat leaf parsley, fine chopped. Now we take our beautiful gravy, pour it on top, stir everything together, have a spoon at the ready because I want you to taste the filling right now. Oh, get a sense of how it tastes. Now you're gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. Okay, the real reason why we wanted to do a video to attach to this post is because I've changed the presentation. In the original post, I had you cooking the turkey pot pie in a glass casserole dish. You can still do that, it's very nice. But, what if we put them in individual dishes? I picked up these lovely ramkins. I'm gonna be doing eight turkey pot pies. If you are throwing a dinner party, this is such a stellar way of presenting a main course. I got kind of goosebumps saying that, it really is. Like you're gonna be the belle of the ball if you go through these steps. With the filling complete, I'm gonna add a nice generous helping into each of these ramkins. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Next step, pastry board, little bit of flour, flour your rolling pin, you're gonna need pie dough. Head to weekendatthecottage.com, our pie dough recipe is there. Take one disc of dough and we're gonna roll it out quite thin. Nice, thin, even roll. And now we take a ravioli cutter and we're gonna run the ravioli cutter through the dough. Now, judging by the size of this dish, the scale can't be too big. I can't have big strips. It needs to be tiny strips of pastry. So go back for the second run with the ravioli cutter, nice and close, and keep going until you have these beautiful, tight, 
long strips over to the dish then, lay the first strip down, lay the second strip on a 90 degree angle so you create that beautiful kind of foundation. Add the next strip. By the time you're getting to the fourth strip, you have to start thinking a little bit because now you've got to start lifting dough and going over and under. Okay, next piece of dough, whoa, that one is under, so now it goes on over. And you start doing this over and under weave. You will be able to do this. Do not give me that look. You're gonna be able to do this. And when you're done, you'll have this glorious dome on top of this beautifully prepared turkey pot pie. Last thing we're gonna do, I have a bowl with an egg, tablespoon of water, stir, 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 then pastry brush, and I'm going to brush the top of these pies. This is gonna give it a beautiful golden look when it comes out of the oven. Notice what's happening, I have four pies with their egg wash ready to go into a preheated 350 degree oven for 20 minutes, but I also have four additional pies over here, right? The yield is eight dishes. These four pies, no egg wash, wrap with plastic and place them in the freezer. They're ready for your next dinner party whenever you're in a jam for a main course. Great thing is you take them out of the freezer, then you apply the egg wash, bake from frozen, same degree temperature oven, 350 degrees, 30 to 35 minutes, a little bit longer cook time for them to be bubbly and for the crust to be beautifully golden. Ultimately, after you cook your pie, it'll come out of the oven and you will feel like a superstar. This is such a beautiful presentation. Of course, you know me, it's all about the taste. We have a filling that is warm and bubbly, a crust that is beautiful, flaky pastry. Mm. I'm getting turkey and a little bit of bacon and vegetables. It's a really lovely main course. If you're thinking of this for a dinner party, a couple of suggestions. I wouldn't serve this with anything else but this as main course. So start with a beautiful salad. Try our fall salad, fantastic with plums and things. Fall salad, serve this as a standalone main course. Doesn't need anything else, maybe cranberry sauce or a cranberry compote to go with. Finally, why not end with our now famous parsnip cake? So a complete dinner plan can come together. But if you're doing a dinner party and you serve this as main course, expect applause, take bows, it's all of that. I think this relook at turkey pot pie is well worth the effort. It certainly is worth the effort for you to make it. I know you'll enjoy. Looking for other things to enjoy, head to weekendatthecottage.com. Kindly sign up for our newsletter, subscribe to our website. Also look for us on our dedicated YouTube channel. Subscribe to us there. Also, little bell icon so you receive notifications. Thumbs up if you enjoy our videos and also give us a few comments. Tell us what you think when you're making our recipes and trying our tips. Finally social media feeds, Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Turkey pot pie, a stellar way of reusing those roast turkey leftovers with incredible results. Time to gobble it up. Mmm.